Hi all, today I will be explaining how to apply for class for examinations from e Pariksha website. So, uh, I am actually a GME student, so this video will be most appropriate for GME students, but for uh, marine engineering students also, it will be almost the same. So, first of all, you have to go to uh, Google and type DGC Ping e Pariksha. The first link 220.156.188 is the thing which we have to open if you go and open there will be an option for register for new user after that you have to enter your name email and endorse number and click on register after you click on register you will be getting an email on your mail id which will be having an activation url and your password so once you click on the url your profile will be activated and after that you have to again come to dg shipping ipariksha use the email id and password which is already sent on your email after this you have to click the login and uh, login interface will be coming like this uh, you have to click on application in application form first of all the point to be noted is that uh, for paying the part a and part b uh, exemption fees first of all you have to pay for part a then only you have to pay for part b so the i will be explaining each and everything the exam center is which which mmd you are going to apply examination grade first of all you have to select part a actually my application is done so i am not able to edit initially you have to select part a intended month is the month which you are going to uh, write your exams <coughs> and here you have to click fresher click on next personal details there is nothing to explain everything is everything here you have to just fill in every details and in the attached view documents three things you have to upload your photograph signature and passport for photograph there is already instructions given the size the photo should be 70 percent filling the space and for signature also they are telling two by seven box you have to draw and then put the signature on that and then upload there is size requirements also in the instructions you can read passport you have to upload the page which is having a photograph all these three you have to upload then go to next here also if they are asking the cdc details this exn45 number you don't have to write anything you can keep it blank this you will be getting only once you go to mmd then here for documents you will be having to upload the cdc pages the cdc first page which is having a photograph the last page which is having your details the stcw page and the stamp pages so total four pages you will be having to upload after this is your contact details that also nothing to, nothing to explain everything you have to fill after this comes the fee payment you have to as i told earlier in the first page of the center details you have to select part a and in the fee details you can pay the fee that is 3000 for part a after that you again have to go to this personal particulars from this examination grade you have to select part b repeat the above steps click on next next and the final fee details you have to pay for part b so initially we have paid for part a 3000 then after that you have to again go to first page click select part b then come here and pay the fee for part b also that is all with personal particulars and next section is scholastic education in scholastic education as i am a gme graduate this level will be sorry this stream number will be gme level education level will be graduate and in the attached view documents you have to upload your 10th 12th and graduation certificate graduation certificate is a btec certificate and that is all with this section next is pre-c training in pre-c training what you have to fill is the training institute details the institute in those number this you will be getting from dg shipping website all other details uh, details of the training academy and this attended period because I am from Anglo Eastern our GME course is like eight months 
uh, we are sure based training then four months we have to go on board then only we will be completing our one year GME so this from date will be starting of our GME course and this to date will be the sign off date of the first ship that is the engine cadet ship as per anglo Eastern or as per your uh, training academy because we are having eight months shore and four months onboard training to complete our GME this to date will be the sign of date from the first ship okay in the attached view documents what you have to upload is the pre c training certificate this pre c training certificate is not the GME certificate it's the certificate which your academy will be giving you after you complete your TME sailing period after you complete the six months TME certi TME sailing period and you are eligible for class 4 examinations your academy will be giving you a pre c training certificate it's also called shipboard training certificate or 18 months sea service letter so this is that that thing this uh, the GME certificate you should not upload here this is the pre c training certificate after you complete your six months as per TME this is a common mistake everybody is making so restore our self-explanatory after this we can go to structured onboard training here you have to enter the details of your shipboard experience actually as i told earlier we are required to do two ships so we will be get having two both the ship details here the date of completion of ship onboard training then the designated training officer i have filled my chief engineer details and his coc number and in the document what you have to upload is the last testimonial of the ship suppose this first ship you are having three testimonials then you have to upload the third testimonial here and the uh, designated training officer will be the chief engineer in the last testimonial like that i have uploaded so second case also in the second ship if, if you are suppose you are having only two testimonials you have to upload the last that is the second testimonial here and the chief engineer's name in the second testimonial and the coc number that's all with structured onboard training next coming to seagoing service here you have to upload all the testimonials say you are having three testimonials in first ship and two testimonials in second ship you will have to upload all five testimonials here also the C certificate that is a C service letter from the company that also you have to upload here so this is number of testimonials I am having total four two from first ship and two from second ship name of the ship I am a number kilowatt trade everything is self explanatory this from and to date will be the uh, from and to date as per your testimonial and coming to this article period and QSS suppose our total uh, days as per first testimonial is 100 so the seagoing days will be normally 80 to 85 percent of the number of days so the total days you have to upload here and the seagoing days that is 80 to 85 percent of the total days you have to upload here this number should be matching your testimonial so that's all and all the testimonials you have to upload here all the testimonials plus seagoing service c service letter from the company okay then comes the stcw course stcw course everything you have to upload that is a basic and advanced the st 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 est then we have FPFF, Elementary First Aid, PSSR, Medical First Aid, PSCRB and Advanced Firefighting. And all the documents also we have to upload. Uh, one thing has to be noted, the codes, codes for all these should be written correctly. And while uploading the documents, as you all know, STSDST have separate document, separate certificate. For PST, FPFF, EFA and PSSR you are, we are having only one certificate that's called BST so you have to upload BST four times so if you see that as your documents for our first one was SPSTST this will be the certificate for STSDST for FPFF 
sorry for PST, FPF and EFA you have to upload BST certificate only and for PSSR also you have to upload BST certificate so rest all are having their own separate certificates after that we will come to level applied for here we are, have to select the or else basically the or function of functions we are, which we are going to apply that is 3, 5, 4, B and 6 and the date this date will be the date on which we are submitting the application next comes the certificate of competency held nothing has to be filled here because we are not having any SEOC next is the approved courses approved courses we have to fill the engineering simulator course here engineering simulator course it is from date to date and then we have to attach the document certificate of engineering simulator finally is the declaration piece nothing we have to do we just have to click on the tick mark and we have to submit so hope you have a, had a good understanding of the process so if you have any doubt you can just ping in the comment section